Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, where we have not one, but two dances. Finally, last episode we got... Refreshing! The Refresh Dance, which heals our health and brings life to basically all those trees we've been seeing around. So with that and our new drill ability, we've got quite a few places we can potentially explore for goodies. But I want to go ahead and get our next Heart Holder. Squidsmith at, Squidsmith at your service, you take adorable little heart squids and kill them for my benefit. Yes, forge me a heart holder out of these innocent lives. Smash! I'll take this. You got a heart holder. And your max heart's increased by one. Hopefully, you know, this is going to be pretty much an episode where I go around trying to get goodies more than anything else. And speaking of goodies, we can get some upgrades here as well at the store. Welcome to the item shop, a place to peruse for things you can use. Let's see. I want to go ahead and get an auto potion. I've been teasing these for a while. In addition to that, let's get both the super silky cream and the super shampoo. With that, our hair is almost maxed out. Another 600 gems and it will be. Good to have that early. Look at that speed! Oh, that's amazing. Uh, and I, do I want to try the dance? I mostly want to go find heart squids and things like that this episode. There are some trees we can grow. There is at least one cave we can finally complete. It might even be the first cave we've been allowed to complete. But let's see, what's in here? Can't do anything in here. Excellent. Still need some sort of aqua form, which I fully expect to get given that there's been a mermaid form in pretty much every Shantae. There hasn't always been, in fact, I think there's only been one time there's ever been a flight form. I think in the very first one, you had the harpy dance which would allow you to fly and basically completely broke the programming of the game. All the platforming was just cake at that point because you could use it with zero consequence. Here we go. But I, I would love for them to bring flight form back at some point. You know, just maybe limit it? Limit its use slightly? But anyway, finally we can get that heart squid. And Basically, in this episode, I'm going to be on the look for trees and sand. I'm not going to be doing like a... Oh, and we also have that place in the far east. There's that pelican thing, I think it was. That weird thing that wanted to be refreshed. But that might just be progress to the next part of the, of the level, which would not be a bad thing. But I'm only going to go there after I have explored other possibilities. I remember that there is some sand we can warp to. Let's check this cave. Have we not been in here? We could totally do this. What? How did I let this go by? Free heart squid? Why, yes, thank you. I don't remember ever coming in here. But I will take the heart squid and run. That by itself is already almost another heart upgrade. In fact, let's take a look. Yeah. Oops. I didn't want to use the potion. Whoopsies. I wonder how long that one's been staring in my face. Uh, can we go any further here? I mean, obviously, since I got the monkey form, or the dash newt form, I want to call it the monkey form because I miss the monkey dance. It was totes adorbs. Let's check this area out over here. I don't think there is anything we really missed out on, but you know what? Might as well take a look. Just oh, case. I hit the button. I swear to God, I hit the button. Try that again. Thank you. Okay, there's this that we're gonna do something with electricity for. Obviously, and that almost didn't look like a death pit until it was. Bolo also wants snacks. We have to figure out where to get Bolo snacks, if I remember right. If 
from the last episode. Yeah, here we go. Here's a place to dance. Let's try the refresh dance here. And we get a nugget. So that's our fourth nugget. We're close to being able to get close to being able close to being able to get our other siren card. So definitely worth coming all the way back here. Thank you, Mr. Tree Friend. You are the best. And that looks like all we can do over here pretty much indefinitely until we get some sort of I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we're gonna get some sort of hover form. Maybe not flight, but some sort of hover form. Hover form? Hover form. That feels like an appropriate way to address not abusing flying, because you would only be able to really get much, a lot of vertical air around those fans. And we've had something like that before with Risky's hat. So it feels like they would bring that ability back. That's pretty much all the secrets we can get at this point on the west side of the island, it feels like. Now we just need to look at the east and then maybe go underground. But first, let's catch up with some people. You smell like beach day. I'll take that as a compliment. The mayor promised us a new show, but I don't know. Monkey on saddle riding small dog must not be my thing. Uh, must not be. There's no way off this island for now. I guess I'll just try to have fun in the meantime. What happened to that zombie genie? Ooh, is that a hint that we might be going after her next? I've tried contacting the mainland at no avail. I'll have to keep these folks entertained somehow. At least until the scheduled pickup. Well, hopefully we can finish our show before that happens. My voice hurts. Then stop doing that? Sometimes water goes stagnant. Eventually it can even become poisonous. Is there really no way to purify it? Ah, that might be a dance. You're still enjoying the sun, huh? Hello, bikini girl. Uh -huh. I found two of the missing girls already. Uh, what? Really? <laughs> yes. For real. I'll be doggone. You know what that means. What? Time for me to turn over. <laughs> Let me know when you find the others. Aww. Oh, you. Also, she blushes as she looks at Sky's butt. <laughs> Sky, are you just not going to be any help this time? You are seriously committed to this vacay. Large fans on the beach. What is their purpose? Perhaps we aren't meant to know. I don't know. The old man on the beach. He snores with his mouth wide open. The mummy seagull, ew, likes to feed him. <laughs> I worry for those scientists and the metal fish. They travel so deep into the unknown. Let's go talk to Plink. Tell her we found another one. Plink! Hi! Oh, hey! I hope you're putting my seer magic to good use. That one's actually harder to figure out where to use. I am. It helped me find Vera. Vera is safe? Yeah. Oh good. I like her. She seems like the big sister I never had. Huh? Please. Just tired from all this adventure. Hang tight. I'll be back after I've rescued the others. Alright, let's go. And what do you have to say up there, Miss On High? Each labyrinth in the sunken city has three heart squids, or so I'm told. Yes, we've, we've realized that. But it's good to have confirmation that they're never going to have more, I guess. Is there a tour group that goes to Armor Town? I hear it's up on the Eastern Plateau. I want to try some of the famous body armor before I go too old. Ooh, so that actually might be progress? Oh no, we can't get through that because that's blocked by... 
stone, if I remember right. So no, we're not going there yet. Also, is it our town? What was our town called? Ammo Town, that was it. Not Armor Town, it was Ammo Town. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Ammo Baron showing back up. That's good. Wow, look at that damage. Oh, it feels so good. Just wiping every of these early enemies out. All right, so let's just check to be sure. Up should be blocked by stone. Absolutely, we can't do anything with it, but we can do something with this tree. Let's do it. And we get another nugget. So now we can get that siren card. We will be doing that straight soon. I would say straight away, but I want to look over here first. All right, what's this way? You, you die. You go to hell and you die. Or you die and you go to hell. Some order like that. <laughs> die and don't go to heaven. I think I've mentioned this many times, but Earthbound is one of those games where I am much happier to watch it being played than actually play. Mostly because I really like the part of the game that's up to foresight. I don't really find the rest of the game that interesting. I just like watching people go to foresight. Actually, three is my favorite part. What are you gonna give me? Another nugget. Perfect. Three is my favorite part of the game. After that, it's just, eh? All right, nothing in this cave. I don't have to deal with you, goodbye. Oh, you barely hit me. Oh, that's so unfair. I still feel like we're gonna get a mermaid form for these waterfalls too, that feels right. Being able to swim up the waterfalls, it feels like a thing we should be able to do. Let's go ahead and save our progress gotten quite a few things already. Not as many heart squids as I was hoping for, but, you know, I would like to get at least one more upgrade, but getting those, getting those nuggets. Oh, I got hurt by a snake. Getting those nuggets is actually better than I expected. Would love to get another siren card. Those feel like they're going to be really handy for a lot of situations, which is why they're boss cards and not common enemy cards. Although I hope they're not too powerful so you still have a reason to want to use some of the normal ones. We'll see. Ow. And you're down. Got a Scorp Gal monster card. What is this? Also, I should look in that cave. Scorp Gal. Um, Rocket Archer. Dirt Crawler, Scorp Gal? Naga, Scorp Gal. Ah, the Pike Ball uses, consumes less magic when used, but I need three, two more of them. And four more for the Naga. One for the Mermaid, swim with super speed. Ooh. And seven more for the Snake to greatly increase my climbing speed. Four more for the Bat. I need to find some time just to grind these cards out, probably. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Right, this. Yeah, like, there's no way to get up there without using this waterfall. This waterfall has to be part of the puzzle. Look at that. Oh my god, it's amazing. I always upgrade my hair first thing. Um, anybody who's seen my... Shante playthroughs in the past knows that I'm primarily a melee player, so to speak. All right, let's dance for this guy. And what do you have to say for yourself? Uh oh, what was that just now, my good sir, madam? I'm so completely awake, I feel like water skiing on a baby's bicycle straight to the stars. Woohoo! Oh, he got Zooks a million! How long have the lads and lasses been down there? I've got to run the winch and haul them up now. Not later. Lickety split. On the double. Do not pass Joe, do not collect rent, as they say. 
Stand back! Is this where the deep sea, the metal fish is? Looks awfully metally and fishy. Why don't you get in there and see if the lads last are the right selves? Or if they're all waterlogged and jellyfied limey skeletons? Oh boy, I hope they're fine. It'll be your fault for not waking me up sooner. I don't like you. <laughs> Alright, what's up? They seem fine. Ahoy! Hey, look who it is! Welcome aboard the metal fish. As I mentioned before, our mission is to learn everything we can about the sunken city. Everyone says we're crazy, that the lower levels are cursed. Evil monsters, blah blah blah. <laughs> but we say no to conventional wisdom. Let us descend to a place where wisdom is without meaning. To the very bottom of the food chain. Want to see what's down there? Uh... Not yet. Let us know when you're ready. <gasps> we meet again. These nice folks are my fellow scientists. So glad you could join us. We were just about to take the metal fish even deeper. Hello there. Did we return to the surface already? Where's my death gauge busted? Alright. This feels like progress. I want to go look at something before we do progress. Let's go back. Uh, why don't I do a cut here and I will see you guys all the way back at the warp room. See you guys in a minute. Alright, actually instead of going to the warp room, it was pretty quick just to jump down the hatch and end up here, which we have been in this room quite a few times. I'm going to show it on the map just in case. But there should be no confusion about what we're doing here. We can finally dig through the sand and see what's up top. Did we already get that? I guess we did. I forgot. Um, yeah, because then there's this water nearby. Okay, well, never mind. I am less excited. I forgot I came in here. Probably pretty immediately after I got the, uh, after I left the labyrinth with this ability. This is what I get for not paying attention to my recordings. Thank you very much. In that case, we're just going to go ahead and warp all the way back. And uh, turn on these monster cards. And then I think we're going to call it an episode there. Because I don't... Or turn on these nuggets. Because uh, I don't think there's anything that I can go do right now after all that. Which is kind of disappointing because I really, really did want... To get another health upgrade but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen oh well at the least we will go get our next siren card which is kind of a good you know a good compromise the siren cards are excellent it's a power up it's a nice way to end the episode i just kind of embarrassed that oops i did go get that and i you know i'm thinking about it and it was probably a nugget i mean most likely that seems to be what comes in the chests all right so in that case, let's go talk to you, sir, Mr. Card Collector. Don't tell no one about I sold my card collection to some dude from Arbor Town. All but one card, the most rarest one. I trade you for it. For, I trade it. Trade you it for nuggets. Bring me five nuggets and it's yours. You got five nuggets. You gave nuggets. You got Water Lily Siren Monster Card. The card is yours, boyo. That is a super rare ultra serious monster card. Equip that pup on the subscreen. Subscreen! What does it do? Uh, water lily down here. Hair whip attacks deals even more damage than before. Hello. Turn that off. Put that on. Let's go test this out. Let's test this out real quick. I have to see. Where have we been without this? How much damage do we do now? I know we were doing seven before. Let's find out. It's probably going to be like eight or nine, but still, that's actually kind of amazing. All right, where's my guinea pig? My guinea fish. Hey, oh, that's not bad. You know, it's, a, it's basically upgrade like a shampoo. It's, an, it's another shampoo level for free. I like it. Very nice. Also, getting these monster cards is also very nice. What am I getting? What are the Muckman cards? Uh, let's see. 
Muckman. All food types gain an extra healing boost when consumed. Ooh, that could be real good. I wonder how long it's gonna take to get more cards. I might form these up real quick and uh, we'll call it an episode here. Next time, we'll see if I have those cards or not. But anyway, thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me a likes, leave me your comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, but these guys won't. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.